There's a hidden cause of arthritis, especially if it's in these knuckles right here, the, the knuckles of the first digit and the second on either side and the knee joint, but this arthritis could be in other joints as well. And that hidden cause is iron overload. Let me explain. There's a condition called hemochromatosis, okay? Now that can come from either a genetic cause or it could come from your diet or a medical procedure where you're given a transfusion or other causes that I'm gonna talk about. The point you need to know is that too much iron in the body is very, very toxic. And our body has no mechanism for getting rid of too much iron. And the first symptom of iron overload is arthritis uh, of the hands and the knees. And specifically, like I mentioned, the knuckles. Now, there are a lot of other symptoms related to iron overload as well, like fatigue, like abdominal pain or bloating, like liver cirrhosis, insulin resistance, diabetes, erectile dysfunction, hypogonadism, and an overall increase in infection because certain pathogens live off of iron. So the more that you feed them, the more that they can grow. Excessive iron is especially toxic to the liver as well as the pancreas and the heart. But this iron can lodge in your liver and create all sorts of problems. So the more the liver is dysfunctional or damaged, the more problems you're gonna have with iron since the liver is a really key organ in hemochromatosis. So if you are on Tylenol that destroys the liver, for example, or let's say you're on a high carb diet that leads to a fatty liver, you may have more iron that builds up in your body. Now, from a dietary standpoint, let's say you do a couple tablespoons of molasses every day. Molasses is loaded with iron. And so that's one source of iron overload. But probably a bigger source would be in the multivitamin mineral that you're taking right now. So many people are taking the one a days that are just loaded with iron and especially the wrong type of iron. Um, they have what's called elemental iron, which can be absorbed very easily in the body. Now, the iron you get from vegetables, for example, um, are not very easily absorbed. And so if you were to have a problem with iron and only eat red meat, for example, that could create a problem. But usually the people that are doing red meat with sugar or starches, like meat and potatoes or meat and pasta are going to have more of a problem because of that combination of protein and sugar creates glycation, which basically is a compound that kind of clogs everything up and occurs as an effect from high blood glucose. And then the iron creates more liver problems, which create more retention of iron. So it's a, a never ending cycle. So understanding what to do with your diet is very, very important if you have iron overload. But you need to know if you have this problem, you don't wanna start adding more iron into the diet. You don't wanna start taking iron supplements. You don't wanna take molasses. You don't wanna do anything that weakens or destroys your liver. Now, fiber can reduce the iron overload. So if you were to do some red meat with vegetables, for example, uh, that might be a better solution. And the other thing that is in fiber is called phytic acid. And apparently phytic acid is something that can reduce your iron. So even though I've done videos on the, the negative effects of phytic acid, because it blocks your absorption of minerals, right? Like zinc and magnesium, but also iron. But if you have an iron overload situation, taking a supplement with phytic acid might be beneficial. And the form I would recommend would be something called inositol hexaphosphate, IP6. Other things that can reduce iron would be green tea, cilantro, quercetin, and even donating blood can actually be very beneficial. So there are certain minerals in our body that tend to accumulate and create destruction, especially as we get older, but we have other minerals that can be easily eliminated from the body if you consume uh, large amounts like potassium, magnesium, but iron and calcium, for example, are much more difficult to eliminate. So those are two minerals that you don't wanna take large amounts on a regular basis. So if you have arthritis and you want to potentially see if it's an iron overload situation, there's several things you can do. You know, Stop the iron supplements, 
start improving your liver, take a remedy like phytic acid or green tea or quercetin, or even donate blood and see if your arthritis gets better.